you watch this fly? Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, that's a call. That was live. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give all the glory and honor and praises to your honor. Devil honor to the Apostle Great Millstone, so he takes the item of four corners. He's pushing his truth for sincerity. All right, love, diligence, respect, fear, and trembling. All right, this is uh, GMS Wisconsin with the brothers from GMS Chicago. All right, back with another lesson for the spirit of power, y'all, Shai. And uh, we just going to jump right into an open floor, whatever the spirit is bringing to these brothers. Um, we can hit on prophecy. Well, what's that, um, what's that, uh, s uh second answer? Is it, what is it, 15 or 1? Tom, you know what I'm talking speak about? Speak the prophecy. words. Yeah, the prophecy of Tom. Let me that one first. Tom, this is second, uh, this is second answer is chapter 15 and verse 1. It says, uh, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And I will cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Can, can you start to, oh, sorry, start to get in here? This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Right, so the Lord said he's going to put it, his words in his prophet's mouth, which is prophecy. All right, now what is the number one prophecy that is happening today? That's coming up is what is the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. All right. Another prophecy is uh, uh, America, aka Babylon, to fall. That's another prophecy. Okay. Yeah, please, please, please. You got something? Go ahead. This is Ezekiel 33, and I'll start at verse uh, 7. It says, So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth right. and warn them for me. Right, so the Lord gave his, his, his prophets. Did somebody get, um, what is that, Amos? Uh, you got it? Okay, come. So the Lord gave his prophets uh, uh, the understanding of, uh, on the times, man. All right, he set them as watchmen to watch to see the end. All right, and he said, he said, warn, right? We're going to be hearing about warning. Come. It says, give them warning of me. Right, give them warning of who of the Lord, man. All right, so we're here to blow the trumpet to let the world know that the Lord is on his way back. That's what a prophet. That's what a prophet is for. All right, got it. Yeah. This is uh, Amos three and six. It says, uh, "Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, mm -hmm. and the people not be afraid?" Right. So a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people shall not be afraid. What is the trumpet? The trumpet is the, uh, the, the scriptures. All right, and the people shall not be afraid. Go ahead. It says. Shall there be evil in a city, mm -hmm. and the Lord had not done it? Right, so we're prophesying about evil. What is evil? We're talking about the pestilence, which has came in the form of what is known as the COVID-19. All right? We're prophesying about concentration camps. We're prophesying about martial law. All right? That's the evil. I got that. Preacher. You got it? Go ahead. In Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8, it says, The prophets that have been before me and That's before it. thee of old prophesied both against many countries uh -huh. and against great kingdoms, of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right, so the duty of a prophet or a man of the Lord is to prophesy a, a, the downfall of, uh, of such things. A kingdom. What, what, what kingdom are we prophesying about today? America. Of evil. What is evil? Death. Hard times. Alright, what do you say? Pestilence? Which is diseases. Yep. Now, what, what we're, we're, we're actually currently in a pandemic. Okay? We're in a, which is a, all, the whole world is in a pandemic. All right, a crisis of a so-called disease called COVID-19. All right, right tyranny. Right, which is abuse of power because basically that's what they're doing by lording over you, saying when can you come out, at what times, yeah. the amount of people that can gather is him being uh, lord over you. Yep, yep. Which shows that you're still a conquered people. Uh, I got two for you, right quick. You got right? it. Go ahead. You got it. This is Hosea 12 and 10. It says, I have, I have also spoken by the prophets, mm -hmm. and I have multiplied visions, and I have used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. And like the brother said, 
uh, Jeremiah was told that he was going to be a what? A prophet? He was sanctified from the womb to be a prophet what? Unto the nations. Right. So let the other nations know what's going to happen. All right. Uh, this is Hebrews. This is Hebrews 1 and 1. It says, Yahweh, who at sundry times and in diverse manners yeah. spoke in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. See, so in time past, <clears throat> now when you go into, back into the ancient world, you always had the prophets tell you about things to come. That's what the uh, brother just read in Jeremiah 28 and 8. All right? The prophets before always spoke about evil, pestilence, war, and that's the time that we're coming into. All right? 2021 is something called Agenda 21. And when you read about Agenda 21, it talks about a full-blown uh, uh, dictatorship. Okay? <clears throat> Agenda 2021. Agenda 21. All right? It's talking about uh, uh, totalitarianism. All right? Uh, uh, um, which is basically... A uh, totalitarian society basically is a, uh, a, a a big brother, what they call big brother or a police state. Okay, that's Agenda 21. Okay, and that's what's gonna uh, come down the pipeline, man, under Biden, man. If he if he gets inaugurated, you know. I got you. You got something? Right. There's a uh, Luke one and seven, and seven, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. See. Which, they get, <clears throat> which has been since the world began. So the prophets have always been here, man. And this is one a telltale sign that this place is about to fall. Because now it's time for the children of Israel, which consists of the blacks, Latino, and Native Americans, to come into a uh, rulership, man. All right? Somebody get real quick, Sirach 10 and 8. Go ahead. This is Daniel chapter, chapter 5, verse 25. It says that this is the writing that was written. Many, many tackle with Farsi. Mm -hmm. This is the interpretation of the thing. Mene, the Most High, hath numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Right. Tekel, thou art weighed in the balances and art, want, art, and art found wanting. Yep. Perez, thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. Yeah, now this is talking about the Babylonian uh, uh, Empire, but <clears throat> you gotta understand that uh, a history repeats itself. Okay? Well, technically, history only repeats itself. The man, we, we, we the spirits that we repeat history, to be honest. Because we them same spirits coming back doing the same thing. So we're actually causing history to repeat itself. So back in the uh, uh, Babylonian Empire, the, uh, Nebuchadnezzar got a warning or a sign from the Lord that, that his empire was about to fall. Yeah? Okay? Now, every kingdom or empire always transitions. It was the Assyrian Empire to the Nebuchadnezzar Empire. All right? Which is the Babylonian Empire. From the Babylonian Empire to the Medes and the Persians. From the Medes and the Persians, it went to the Greeks. From the Greeks, it went to uh, um, Romans. the Romans. Okay? And so on and so forth. Now, now triple on down to today. Now you have America. Then you have the Ten Toes. Okay? So now, now we're at the time where this kingdom is going to go down. This is the transition of power. Right. It happened back then. It's going to happen now. All right? You got something? You got There's uh, Daniel 12 and 13. It says, But go thy way till the end be... The end be for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. And this is the same uh, chapter where uh, the Lord told Daniel to shut up the book yes, to, to the end. Yep. All right, because if I read up, it basically explains that you end, you end up coming back in your lot, whether you're righteous, whether you're wicked. That's why the scripture says, it says, uh, be not worried how the ungodly shall be punished, okay. but rather how the righteous shall be saved. Yep. yep. Because we know that, every, that nobody is going to fall out out of their lot. Nobody's going to fall out. Just like you can't make yourself one of the elect. All right, shit. Neither can the wicked uh, turn his ways. All right, because in that Jeremiah where, where it talked about can a leopard change his friends, was talking about Israel. But that's one of the, but that's one of the uh, indicators and the telltale signs, just like the prophecy is to us, to who the wicked are, which is, which is, uh, who is currently in rulership, come, come. whose dominion has to fall. This is Daniel 12 and 9, it says, And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, mm -hmm. for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. And this is the time of the end. Okay? Then this, he, right here, it, it, it's, it's, it's sealed, right? Yes. Yeah. It's sealed. So no one had the understanding of the book, okay, until uh, uh, Abu Bibbins, going back into the 19, uh, uh, late 50s, early 60s. Okay? Can somebody hold on that uh, Revelation 11 and 11? Go ahead, bro. It says, Many shall be purified and be made white and trying, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, 
but the wise shall understand. Uh, so basically, yeah, so like you said, let, let the filthy be uh, filthy still. Yep, yep. Uh, you know, because we, hey, we know that right now, although our people are chosen people, they're uh, vessels unto dishonor right now. So they're going to have to receive a Gentile's judgment. Uh, because guess what? Hey, today is one of the biggest days that our people are, are fully, uh, uh, fully into it. But, this, but before, this was an indicator of American prosperity. This was the abundance of your wealth through the year that you spent in excess with the hope that next year was going to be even better than that, yep. which is seized here, which hand claps, man. Yeah, you know? Yeah, you know? To, to, to be quiet, man. Because just like, our, you know, just, just like our, our punishment came and was a witness against us, yeah. so, and so is the fall of our enemies, man, before us, man. You know, that they being divided, that they being, because guess what? Our division was our downfall. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, you non mask wearers, which you mask wearers, mm -hmm. you have at it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, what are you guys waiting for? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Nah, nah, this is the book of uh, Sarat, chapter 10 and 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealing, injuries, and riches got by deceit, right? The kingdom is translated from one people to another. Right, so because of our righteous dealings, now that they, they dealt with the children of Israel uh, of mercy, right? Riches, they, they sold a, a boy for a harlot, a girl for a for wine, all right? They got by deceit, all right? They, they said the kingdom is translated from one people into another. Somebody gets uh, second answer six and seven, because we're at the end. The brother just read the scripture. It said that the book was sealed until the end. Well, this is where the, the truth uh, uh, um, uh, uh, started to come out at now. Okay? So so the world can know who, who is the Israelite, who is the black Latino, and the Americans, who is the devil, who is Esau, Edom. All right? Who predominantly looks like the so-called white man. All right? And all the truths of the scriptures and the promises. All right? Somebody got it? Go ahead. Second Ezra, chapter 6. Verse 7 says, Then answered I and said, What shall be the, the party of Sunday of the time? Mm -hmm. And when shall the end it's like and when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? Right, so Ezra was asking, I believe he was that was Raphael, he was asking, the angel Raphael, when will be the end of the times? Now one thing when you search the scripture, you're gonna find out that all the prophets always wondered and inquired of the end. When you go on to uh, Acts, the first chapter, they, uh, the disciples asked you, how was that? Is this now the time to restore the kingdom unto Israel? So the number one question is, when when is the prophecy that was written for Israel to be on top? Us to get the uh, the birthright. When is those blessings going to kick in? Okay, and that's what they always work for. Because the scripture says we're going to have an everlasting uh, kingdom, man. Okay? So we're, we're doing the same thing. Basically, basically, how long? How long until we get our piece of the pie, so to speak? Alright, go ahead. So he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, mm -hmm. when Jacob and Esau were born of him. Through the promises, alright, they had the, uh, it said from Abraham unto Isaac, Isaac unto Jacob, because it was a promise that was done with, that rested upon uh, uh, Abraham, man. Alright? And then it went down to Isaac and then it set on the 12 patriarchs. And now we are here today. You got, you got Judah here, you got Benjamin here, you got Levi, uh, you got Levi here. You got Instagram here, you got Ephraim here, you got Gad here, Reuben here. Alright? This is the, the tabernacle of David, uh, the, 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 the third temple raising up out of the out of the dust in front of your face. That's right. Alright? And it's all and it's, it's all prophesied, man. That's right. Alright? Go ahead. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, mm -hmm. for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it. That follow. Right, so Esau is the end of the world. Alright, who is Esau? The so-called white man. Alright? And Jacob, it says Esau is the end of the world. This this is how we know that we're the end. Because we never knew who Esau was. You see, you go back, you go back uh, uh until until the time of the sixties, Esau wasn't a a, a name to uh, just just thrown out there, man. Even the mystery yeah. which had been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. See? Now the mystery is made manifest to the saints, which are the prophets. Okay? That great mystery is that Esau Edom has been revealed to be the devil and it's going to be a transition of power. Alright? Go ahead, you got it? Uh, this is Amos 3. Now, verse 
Let us start it. Verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blowing the city, mm -hmm. and the people not be afraid? Right, and the trumpet, going back into that, the trumpet is what we're doing right now. Back in the ancient world, they used to uh, blow different sounds, alarms, and trumpets to uh, guide and steer the children of Israel. What, 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 what should they do? Okay, it was a, a sound for a, 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 your enemies and choosing. It was a sound to, for prayer. It was a sound for, you know, you can read that in Numbers, the uh, 10th chapter. Okay, so now there's certain specific trumpets that are blown to indicate that there's a, 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 a terror or an alert. Okay? I got you. Back to what you said. Yep. First Corinthians 14 and 8. Where the trumpet given a certain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? See, if a, if a trumpet given a certain sound, we should prepare him to a battle. So it's a certain tune that has to be uh, 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 released into the world so the Israelites can step into gear and to uh, find out that there's an enemy, there's a threat. Okay? And the only one that heard that threat is the, is the, is the, is the one that you see before you. Beginning with the Apostle Greg Millstone and all the men, that, and men, women, and children that, that transition in their lives to serve the Al Bashi Shah. Go ahead. This is uh, back in Amos 3. And uh, verse 6, it says, Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord had not done it? Right, so there be evil in the city, and the Lord didn't do it? Because you're gonna have, you got babies dying, you got old people catching COVID dying, you got children so-called catching COVID dying. All right? It's a pandemic. Everybody, you know, it's supposed to be a thousand upon a thousand people dropping dead of this virus. Okay, now people want the world to go back to normal. But, okay, so it's an evil done in the city. But who did it? Now, we can easily say when a white man put out a disease, but it was the war who orchestrated it, man. That's right, right? That's what the world don't get. Yeah, Esau, is, he has control to do certain things, but ultimately it's the will of Yahweh Shem outside of force to further prove, uh, to further push prophecy. Right, hey, and that's, that's uh, a way the Lord is uh, revealing the secrets to us. So these people, hey, they see all this happening, but they, they're not yeah. tying it into the Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They think the Lord is all there, you know, it's all love, they think all is Satan and all that. Yeah, we're telling you that. The Lord is doing this. The Lord is doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Real quick, to prove that, this is Isaiah 45 and 7. As I form the light and create darkness, I make peace and create evil. That's it. I, the Lord, do all these things. That's it. So it ain't no, it ain't no red man, uh, all red man with, with a horn and a tail in the picture book, man. Okay. This is uh, verse 7 that says, uh, Amos 3 and 7, Surely the Lord, Yahweh, will do nothing, but he revealed his secret mm -hmm. unto his servants, the prophets. He said, he revealed the secret to the servants, the prophets, man. And what are the secrets of the world? We are the holy children. Of the, uh, uh, we are the holy children. Esau is the devil. We, get, we got salvation in the end. We got the birthright. We got slaves. Captivity is coming. Okay? A new world, a whole transition of life is coming. Those are the secrets of the book. All right? You got it. And actual hope. Come, come. You know, the scripture says that, well, you're not in this. You were, you were in the world without hope. You know? And that's, 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 that's beautiful, man. Because a lot of people, uh, a lot of our people, yeah, just give up in life because what? Because of the condition that we Yeah, you yeah. know? Uh, but they said that in Ezekiel, Ezekiel 37, it said that, that our hope is cut off. Yeah. You see? Israel believed that this is the best that it that, that, that it can get. Or they don't believe that it can get no better than this. Right. You know? Their hope is cut off. We we just gonna keep on losing in this society. You know? But see our promise, the promise that we got is that we're gonna we're gonna rule. Alright? This is uh, verse eight. The lion has roared, who will not fear. Yahweh has spoken, who can but prophesy. Right, so when we heard the word, he, he spoke. Who can but prophesy? That goes back into uh, Habakkuk 2. Uh, he that um, uh, uh, runneth, uh, um, runneth the reader. Yeah, yeah, well, the runner, yeah, reader. Uh, roughly paraphrasing. No, we'll get it. Yeah, 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 no, because that yeah, basically, no, because it basically spoke of those things, man. Yep. yep. See, yep. those are the indicators. When you read uh, that, if a brother could get it, Matthew 24, it said, yeah, yeah. Um, disciples came up to him saying, What shall be the sign of the comes? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, other people see signs and they want to make a dollar. They want to sway these people to um, to basically be perverse because it said yeah. that whenever you you um, you turn from the path of righteousness, right. that's what people go ahead. Matthew 24 is like 3 where it says when you go to the Mount of Olives because again, again mm -hmm. these signs are to all of us. Jacob say, hey, look, man, I'm going outside. I ain't going to take my car to the car wash. It looks like it's going to rain. 
says, you hypocrites, would you not discern the sign of the times? Yeah. All right, because this division that is about to, is, is um, a, the, the so-called calendar year is a week away, but you have a, around 20 or seven days where there's supposed to be a transference of, of power, man. Yep. All right, you know, so, you know, it's high time, man. It's really high time because at the end of the day, the Lord, the Lord said that these were the indicators. He said, no man knoweth the hour. You know, so we just know certain indicators that let us go ahead. It's Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? Right, when you, what, exactly, because there was going to be indicators for them to know. In the book of Peter's, it says, uh, be sober, all right, which means be watchful. All right, and like we're gonna get in this Habakkuk, and there's a responsibility once you're on that mount. All right, the brother touched on it how the, there's a certain there was a trumpets for high holy days, trumpets of warning. All right, so this is in a certain time. We're we're, we're da -da 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 -da. bro. And look, the enemy's coming. All right, and, and you can see it through his actions because he's 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 made you the face of a virus. You know. So he's justified in coming. You know, one thing that we're talking amongst the brothers is, if this, if this was a, a, a affecting a people so so bad, why would they prioritize the rich, the CEOs, you know, the people of, of, of high society to take it first? Because guess what? This 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 sword is gonna come on our people, man. Read. It says, "And what shall be the sign of thy coming and, the, and of the end of the world?" The Yahushua answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. All right, it says, take heed. All right, what did Paul say? He says, now I even tell you weeping, that there was men that were going to pervert correct judgment, man. Right. There was men that were going to set this different path to deviate from the one of righteousness. All right? And we, wolves and sheep's clothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it say that they wouldn't spare the flock, man. It says the good shepherd would what? Go back for the one sheep and sheep. not give a fuck about the ninety-nine yep. to go save the one. Yep. You hirelings are don't don't. You guys are gonna want to give that purse back yep. and say, you know what? No, you know what? Let's look what we gave. We don't need it anymore. It's gonna be too late. Yep. It's gonna be too late. You just try to do that. Right. And that's an example again that goes back to that Romans 15 and 4. Those are the things that were written a four time that would be later to pride as wisdom. Yeah. We know that there was a reason that through the spirit that the visions were made way back when. Yeah. We knew that because guess what? Hey, it was in that it was that correct spirit that things were gonna have to be lined up and set up, man. Because for the older older brothers that were in the camps, it was through the spirit that men followed the elders. And then it was in the elder spirit to say, well, look, if you're all following us, put GMS on your tent. And it was, you know, because it was it was assured of who they had learned those things. Mm -hmm. Precept upon precept, line spirit. upon line. But guess what? Through example. Yeah. All right? There's no way that you can see how fervent the apostles are and sit back because you're like, you know, they were waiting on this on um, years uh, years in between bases of the, of the chess pieces. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, it's, it's fast paced. Uh, and all because in this Habakkuk, like it's going to say, yeah. and I'll read it for you, uh, uh, this is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 1, it says, I will stand upon my watch mm -hmm. and set me upon the tower, mm -hmm. and I will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Hey, so, yeah, well, being a, 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 a slacky, being a part of a prophet, you get reproved, you get reproved. That's right. Okay? So you're being set up on, a, uh, on that tower as an as a, as a overseer. But it's thing that's going to end up with a double-edged sword. It's a refining it's, process. Yeah, it's a refining. Okay? So we, we heard the word. We get, we get refined by it. We get, we get uh, cut up by it. All right? And then we, we went out in the highways and hedges. We ate the road. All right? Like the church talked about eating the road. All right? Go ahead. It says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Right. That he may run that readeth it. So... We, when we read the book, when we found out the mysteries of it, the secrets of it, we ran, we ran out. And what is that? What we're doing now? We're going to know how it's going to We're going to upload these epistles. We started uh, uh, being a part of this ministry. Okay? We started, we started to uh, uh, fulfill, you start to begin to fulfill your life. If I get that, I said, uh, I, I have uh, believed, I have spoken, I believe that I have spoken. So, so I it's proof. It. Yep. 
It's proof because guess what you're doing? You love your neighbor so much that you're warning. You're warning. You know, sometimes we, hey, Jay, forget that we're so compassionate. We fight that spirit all the time that, like, Paul, hey, my, my wish that I was also cursed for my yeah, nation yeah, and my yeah, brother yeah, in the flesh. Yeah, yeah. But then you remember, man, the Lord, the Lord had to tell Jeremiah, look, pray down for these people, man. Yeah, fuck you know what? Let the bro come on, man. Because guess what, man? It was it was just like because all, all of the all of the people killed the prophets. That's right. The two thirds the ones who slaughtered the prophets. Because we the ones who got it. That's why I said whether they whether they are here or whether they forbear. Because no one uh, two thirds don't want to hear what the word uh, what the Lord got to say. That's the whole point of the warning. That's the whole point of the evil. Because who the evil is gonna come to? Who's the pe who, who the pestilence gonna come to? Okay. Proverbs 1 and 20, that's one of the, the, the top scriptures of, of rebuke of a two-thirds, man, that the Lord has sent out and that they may be rejected. It's witness against them. Yeah. All we are is a witness against them. You have that? Psalms chapter 116, verse 10 says, I believe, therefore, I, I, have I spoken, I was greatly afflicted. <laughs> and then what is it, uh, book of James says, what? Be ye uh, doers of the word, not hearers only. Right. Well, Jeremiah Jeremiah was getting so much hell from, from the two-thirds, he said that he wouldn't speak the words of the Lord. Uh, that's one of my favorite ones, because what, what did he say? But it was a he said he felt the seed because these things weren't marching. Sometimes it doesn't march at your pace. No. That's why we're still in that Habakkuk, yeah. because for a long time it was tarrying. Mm -hmm. It's action time now. Yep. Like that Ezekiel yep. says, it ain't for next generation. Mm -hmm. All right, that, that problem ceased already. This, which is why we're getting bolder. Right, we're getting right. that wisdom of Solomon. Yeah. That boldness is coming up, baby. Yeah. It's in power, bro. In power. In action, man. Right. Here it is, man. Look, bro. I know where we're at and where we've been and we've come. Yeah. They hated serving us. Yeah. They gave them shit. We're literally moving their economy, man. Just, just dealing this weekend alone, huh? Yeah. They wouldn't dare serve us, bro. They're oh man, let me pull out the pull yeah, yeah, pull yeah, out the rug. Yeah, yeah. And this is a shame unto them because they wouldn't dare ever look up on us, man. They they they're there's that superiority complex, man. But that shit's through with them. Cause they're all like, how can I accommodate? I said, man, I was looking for some fries, you know what I'm saying, to feed my kids. He said, I didn't even touch these, I'll give them to you. I'm like, nah man, you know what? <laughs> Whatever, man. It's cool. You know, but it's because they because they're so broken that now those things that to them were a joke. See, his, his uh, dominion hadn't been um, questioned or or or, or, or come against. Yeah. And now that he sees the numbers, he's like, wait a minute, these these guys can't be the minorities because I'm surrounded. Yeah. Now it's a witness. Now those lies, uh, you know, have been have been made a. Uh, uh, evident that those are as I said, your enemies shall be found liars. They're the majority, really. Cause that last time I checked, we never stopped procreating. No. They don't procreate unless they have thousands in the bank. Yeah. You know? White women ain't gonna have up to three babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love it. You gotta get them when you're young. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got the open for you. Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 17. For when men will not believe that thou art of the full power, thou showest thy strength. And among them that know it, thou makest it bold as to manifest. The boldness comes because these things are no longer tarrying. These things are no 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 longer uh, far off. Yeah, they're in present term. When you read yeah. this Habakkuk, before it was it was a, a future tense. It's, it's present tense, manifolding. It's manifolding in front of you. Yep. All right, because it says the verse three in this Habakkuk, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. It ain't tarrying no more, man. You know, it ain't Terry no more. We can, we, can, we, can, we can go on the news, we can get an article, we can just see the day-to-day -day life uh, on, on how this place is going down, man. We, we, we see the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip being talked about. There's people right now with the chip in them. There's people right now that have the mark of the beast. All right? So we can see the signs. All right? And the number one sign, all right, well, part of some shit, you can't even really say the number one sign. I mean, you got the prophets here, you got the uh, you got Esau being revealed, okay? You got the World War Three in, in in the background, all right, a cone lady. Don't think World War Three is, is 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 out of the window. A lot of stuff is going on with, with these uh, um, with these countries. In, right, you see the back door. You see? remember Salam the video of uh, Salamani's daughter. She said, um, she said, it don't matter if Joe Biden gets in office, he said, 
Donald Trump ordered my father killed. He said, but 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 Joe Biden was for it. So that nakedness is being exposed on a global level. Yeah. You know, Jake, you know, whether it be disinformation or not, yeah. mind you, this is on a, this is geopolitical news on a global scale. Yeah. It's not like it's some herald yeah. from yeah. from you know what I'm saying? Yeah. From from somewhere yeah. in Alabama. Yeah. This is this global. is in a global web, it's a, it's a global scenario in which this man is being exposed. Yeah. Yeah. It's not gossip, it's not on the, yeah. the inquiry. Yeah. This is on RT. Yeah. Um, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter seven verse forty three. It says, "But the day of doom shall be the end of this time, and the beginning of the immortality for it to come, wherein corruption is past, and temperance is at an end, and fidelity is cut off, righteousness is grown, and truth is sprung up. Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that has gotten the victory." You know, so when, so when the, 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 the day of doom, when the Lord destroys this place, man, and Israel gets risen back on top, there's not going to be anybody else to, not going to be anybody that can, uh, that can oppress those who got the victory of, you know. In the, the book of Daniel, this stuff should not be left to other people. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we won't be oppressed anymore, man. That's, right. that's the whole point of it. That's the whole nature of what we're doing right now, man. You know, through the prophecy how watching me on shot. And delivering us, Lord willing, delivering ourselves, man. Yeah. So we can, so we can have our rest of the kingdom of heaven, heaven be perfect. Yeah. Everything else is non-existent. Yeah, and that's that's really what separates us from the rest of the world, man. Is that we believe the words of the heavenly Father, man. That uh, because what it says that without faith it's impossible to please Him. If you come to Him, you must believe that that He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him, man. Yeah. So while we believe his word that he's going to destroy this place, we also believe that he's going to deliver those that have uh, saw him to the end, man. Yeah. You know? Well, he said that, uh, shall I not find faith on earth? Mm -hmm. All right. So it, there's men on the earth that has faith in this transition. Uh, that has faith in <coughs> this, 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 this kingdom going down and the another one to rise. Through, through, through literally through smoke and fire. Mm -hmm. the, the kingdom of heaven is going to be literally risen. It's literally going to be risen throughout smoke and fire, man. Because you got to remember, Israel is going to get destroyed. Yeah. So the kingdom of heaven is really going to get built back up. Oh, go ahead. No, no, because it said that uh, I will require you from among them. So somebody's going to be saved. Yep. There's slots up. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because it said, uh, if you get that loop, it says, uh, 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 watch unto prayer that you be found worthy to stand when the Son of Man cometh. All right, again, we'll pack it real quick. The precepts, uh, the one uh, Yanagaya brought up, if you may, is uh, 2 Corinthians 4.13. It says, we have the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. You know, that's that's the separation, man. We believe. You know, we go out on the highways and the byways and preach this word, because we believe what the Lord's saying is, is true, man. Uh, uh, that's uh, Isaiah 55 and 11, man. And we don't want that judgment. Like yeah, yeah. Right, because he said it quickly came. He said, I spoke of these things, yeah. and they quickly came, yeah, to, quickly pass. came to pass. So we ain't trying to get caught in the in the, in the the loading price, in that buffering. Yeah, yeah, you know, right. we don't want to be the ones that didn't warn, that didn't bark, man. Hey, but it took too long to go out. Right, right, right. The contemplated too yeah, much. <coughs> Lingering. God. So verse 14 says, Knowing that he which raised up the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall raise us up also by Yahweh Shai, and shall present us with you. So knowing that, knowing that thing, uh, these things, man, knowing, ha having that in mind when we're working, man, you know, knowing that the Lord will do these things. So, hey, man, shit, you know, we're not doing this in vain, man. Right. John, I got one. This is the book of Ezekiel 33 and 1. It says, again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak unto the children of thy people, and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set them and set him for a watchman, that when he seeth the sword come upon the land. And who is the sword though? See who was blessed with the sword? Esau was, man. Alright? When you, when you see if the sword, we see if Esau, when you see if that he said, um, uh somebody get real quick Psalm 17 and 13 real quick. Uh serious on that sword. Yep. Uh, Psalm 17 and 13. Mm -hmm. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, mm -hmm. cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, 
which is thy sword. Right, so the wicked is the sword, so the wicked is coming. The watchmen see the wicked coming. So we go out and, and, and prophesy that, that about the thing that he's going to uh, uh, do, man. Death, slaughter. All right? The chip, which is the mark of the beast. That's the sword. Go ahead. It says, if, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, mm -hmm. then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet. Yeah, was, it's like Yahushai did. He, 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 uh, Yahushai cried because he knew about 70 AD, man. All right, and he said, flee, flee into the mountains. So don't wait for me, you should wait for the rest right. of the Right, oh, yeah. Oh, flee into the mountains. It's going to be a, a great hell that's about to take place. And he cried, and he said he, he cried for more laborers. He had compassion on the people. He, he cried out for more laborers, man. He, he saw the need. Yep. So the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are yep. few. Pray that you get more laborers. <laughs> Pray that you get more laborers. That's why we do these shows, to wake up the whole field of All right? Because we see that enemy coming. And he's finna do some damage, man. That's why Revelation 12 and 12, he knows that he has but a short time. Go ahead. And it says, Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. See, so we want the blood off of our hands, man. If you if you didn't get if you didn't put your boots on and you didn't put your, your well, you didn't put your shield on, you didn't put your your, your, your sword. You know, you didn't go get ready for battle, you just sat there, and, and, and then the blood's gonna be on your hands on when your ass get destroyed. Alright? It ain't gonna be on the, uh, the, the, the watchman's hands who told you. And that way, we don't want the blood on our hands. If we got blood on our hands, the blood's gonna destroy us, man. Right, we're trying to we're trying to continue the charity because we have a multitude of sins yep. uh, It says, uh, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, if and the people be not warned, you hire them. All right, you false prophets. Uh, uh Yahana, Nate. All right, y'all not warning. Y'all, y'all said uh, ISUPK said that um, Jacob's trouble was gay. They said there ain't gonna be no Jacob's trouble. <laughs> There's no such thing. The market of beast isn't glorified each other. Why right, go take the go take promo? Right, bro. Y'all made a promo. It for looked the like vaccine, a promo, bro. For, for the for the for the for the vaccine, uh, uh, to take the chip. I mean, to take the vaccine. Ultimately, because whoever you condition to do that is not going to know how to discern between right. taking the one and not the other. Yeah. Like love and marriage, like. <clears throat> so, so you y'all tell the people to go to basically run into the fire. Yep. <laughs> go ahead. It says, uh, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Yep. Because the Lord told you that, you know, that much is given and much is required of us. You know, we heard the word, you know, and freely we, uh, freely we, we receive yeah. and freely give. Yeah. You know, give back. Hey, the scriptures clearly say no man uh, light a candle. The hide it under a bushel. Yeah. That you know you let that light shine so the whole house can see. You know that we have this word. We have a responsibility. Otherwise, as the brother was going into, otherwise the Lord's gonna have us accountable and we're gonna be punished, man. Yeah. It says that beating with many stripes. You know, it's not. It's not. It's not a. It's not a good thing to uh, to hold back on His word. But they to, to speak on it. You know. Uh, this is Romans 12 and 1. It reads, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Part of our service, man, we'll be out there hours and hours. We present ourselves as a living sacrifice. You know? Hey, call, hey, call this devil out. Hey, uh, prophesy him. Hope for a let, you know, again, sacrificing, man, putting our bodies out there to live a sacrifice. What we're doing is ushering in the kingdom. Right. We're doing this to usher in the kingdom. That's why Yahweh Shai told to the Matthew 10, he, she, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? And who is the kingdom, though? We are. See? He said, lo here, lo there, the kingdom of heaven was within you. So we're initially prophesying to, unto us the, the kingdom to rise. We're making, we're literally 
taken part of raising up the third temple. Well, spiritual is in the way that's what they do is um, whenever you have, you know, and this is our custom, whenever you have uh, the, the, the bride and the groomsmen ushered in, you have the band come in. Like the scriptures say, well, didn't we pipe to you this song? We've yep, been, yep, yep. We've been, we've been playing the song Same so that song. when the Lord comes, we're, yep. we're the intro. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Remember, Stone Cold used to break the glass. Yep. And you knew it was coming. You knew that was Stone Cold coming. Okay. Guess, guess what we're saying? We're proclaiming yeah. how about Shimei Shai, Allah Shai, that yep. fearful, omnipotent yep. power. Yep. You know that needs to get back His glory and His fear, man. Because right. see, the the Lord is coming back to claim that 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 honor that that uh, followed us after Egypt. He's coming to get all his titles. You know what I'm saying? The man, living legend. You know what I'm saying? All, all of the kingdoms, all the all the belts, the king, the every, Lord, every title, everything. He's came to reclaim what it is that was given to him because he already he already bore his cross. He already did what was required of him. That's why the, the brother touched on that um, on that living sacrifice. It's uh, Paul said, "I beg you, I beseech you, brethren. Yeah. You know, I beg you because." This is this is the only uh, retirement plan that's going to yield, because the Heavenly Father's retirement plan is is, is promised forever and ever. Yeah. Esau only lets the only, Esau only gives you benefits till you die. Yeah. Then you're no longer the ben, no longer good for the benefits that you worked for. Mm -hmm. It's out. The Heavenly Father said ever and ever, man. Yeah. And that's and and guess what? That's going to come in uh, in our perfection, which means that nothing that we do is going to bring us against our Heavenly Father. So we're really going to be living to the maximum of our potential. You know, that proud look that your father gave when you did right, that's what's going to that's going to precede us once we have those new bodies. Our Father's going to be continually pleased with us because there's not going to be nothing that we do that will create separation. Like in Isaiah 59, it says, um, your iniquity has basically uh, 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 kept you away from me. It was your tongue, all right? That, that, that separated us from the Heavenly Father. So when we get back in righteousness, there's nothing that's going to impede. Yep. You know, which which in turn gives us everything. Like like uh, like King, uh, King Solomon. You know, because he prayed for wisdom, everything else was given to him. Once we're in our perfection, there's not going to be no salah here, you know? And this is Romans chapter 8, verse 18. It says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. <coughs> so what we're going through right now, you know, in this in this present life of ours, there's nothing there's nothing compared to the glory the Lord is going to give us in the kingdom. You know? The kingdom's already built for us, so we just have to get there. You know? And what we're going to receive through the blessing of the Lord is way it's way more incremental than, than anything we're going to go through on, on this present earth. Right, not corruptible. Yeah, it yeah. says what's what's stored up up there. Uh, thieves can't break in. There's no rust. Yep. You ain't got a be right. right. You ain't got a plexi seal. You ain't got a. You're gonna have the wood finish. Yeah. Right. Plus, plus we know that this current world can't keep going, man. Yeah. You know, because the Lord has always given us examples all throughout the scriptures that those that rule with wickedness. They can't keep uh, ruling, man. That's right. So, so why would you want to stay in this place? That's, that's going to be destroyed, man. You're going to get destroyed with it. All right? This is uh, the book of Ro uh, John, Job, chapter 20, verse 4. It says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth? So this was this is this is already a, a, a well-known, documented thing. It says that the, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment... So there's a question. You didn't know this uh, 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 before? It says, Though His Excellency mount up to the heaven, and His head reach unto the cloud, yet He shall perish forever like His own done. And that's what Esau Edom has done, man. You know, he got his uh, buildings, they, his uh, skyscrapers, man. They go up to, 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 the, to, the, to the clouds. He got his uh, antennas, his, uh, his satellites, his uh, international space Star stations. Wars. Star, yeah, Star, Star Wars systems. That's right, man. But yet, even though uh, how great he's gotten, quote, unquote, great, you know, the, uh, how far the Lord has allowed him to, to gain up, he's still going to be destroyed, man. You know, because the world, hey, man, there's a God that liveth, man. You know, he's not going to continue to let this uh, continue to go the way it is, man. You know? I got something for you. Uh, no, I got something for you. You got homosexuality running rampant. It's Women are out of order. You know, children are out of order. Completely. Yeah. 
I think so too. This is uh, Joe 15 and. Hold on. Where's that? It is uh, 15 and. 14 and 5. 14 and 5, right? That, that yeah, is number. Like, God knows, bro. Oh, yeah. 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 It may have been the same thing to me, bro. But I know what you meant. I know what you doing. <laughs> this is Joe 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Mm. Thou hast appointed his bonds that he cannot pass. That's right. Yeah, so Esau can't go uh, uh, past those bounds, man. Yeah. You know, uh, was it uh, Daniel 4 and 17? Says that the Lord rules in the kingdom of men. Yeah. Huh. You know, and he gives it over over to the faces of men. And you know, what are, what are the uh, our elders, our apostles? What was it uh, our our apostles, elders, man? They they told them that um, you know this was an example on how not to rule. What would happen? If, you know, we didn't establish righteousness and wickedness uh, was allowed to rule. Uh, you know, in Let Jude. Go. In Jude, what did it say? It said. That these places, that the, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah were examples. Examples. Yeah. Many by their rules. So by default, let's say that you take away the captivity of our nation here, just based on the ideologies that were recycled that got Pompey and Rome yeah. judged, man. That's it, that's it. Yeah. All right, because that that Pompey, that was, that, was, that was no joke, man. And people were curled up, uh, uh, covered in tar in the position I, that they were in. Until this day, get off the Yeah, to this day. To this day. <laughs> Thank you. It says the rich and the poor, right? Because I yeah, think I, they even have the one dude. It was like a, the dude with the shekels. It was a the dude they found curled yeah. with shekels next to like what what um what uh yeah. had the attributes of a poor man, and like yeah. they died the same, man. Yeah. The Lord said, "Look, bro, you're gonna die with the fucking silver man. Yeah. You see the one? You see uh, children in there? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. I got I got the uh, precept for you. Um, this is Jude one and. Seven. That Peter's Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in the manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal life. So whichever kingdom that preceded this, mm -hmm. that would follow these ideologies, was damned to repeat that judgment. Yeah. So by fire. default, if nothing else, this place needs fire. Speak hot fire. Fire. Right. Okay. Hot fire. the scripture was in goes to Revelation 11, it says that this place is uh, spiritually uh, solid. Mm -hmm. All right. This is spiritually solid. All right. So, like the brother just said, the same spirit of that place is here, and that's another reason why this place has to get shut. Yeah. Is right. uh, is uh, Second Peter two and six. Two and four, let me start there. And we keep reading where it says uh, 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 it, it, it affects uh, righteous love because that's where we're at right now, you know? It's right it. now we're in that spirit that, that everything about the society that is contrary to how about Shimei outside is irksome to our existence because we know the benefits of everything working in harmony and following the law says that everything you shall prosper in all things. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah. when you fuck up, you get it right. You, you know what I'm saying? I spilled some seed and look, look how fruitful this corner piece was. Because that's, those, those are the positive results of staying in that unison uh, uh, of the Lord's laws, man. Should, you should prosper and all. These things were made for us to prosper, man. It says, uh, For if God spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, and spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood and the and the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Saddam and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that should live ungodly. Right, so Sodom uh, uh, in the time of Noah. Mm -hmm. All right, the same thing. Now, now back then it, it got destroyed with water, but that was still a, a, a top a devastation, man. Bro, drowning is horrible. Yeah, yeah, drowning is horrible. That's is, that is the worst that way to go, bro. All right, and the Lord uh, 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 opened the Shemaiah. He opened the heavens and brought the rain down, man. All right, and it's the same ungodly, wicked spirit that was back then. It's the same ungodly, wicked spirit that was back here now today, man. You drown the first time, and this time you're gonna you're gonna die by fire, man. All right, which is a spirit, because that's when we're talking about reincarnation. Yeah. And guess what? This is the ushering in of those prophecies and coming to their fulfillment. Yeah. 
Yeah. It says other man uh, yeah, desires to see 46, 46 and 10. Yeah, yeah. Revelation 22 and 11 says, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Right. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. So it's that, it's that simple. A two third and a one third. A wicked, a wicked and a righteous. Go ahead. Uh, with in Solomon chapter 10 verse 5 it says moreover the nations and their wicked conspiracy being confounded she found out the righteous and preserved him blameless unto the most high and kept him strong against his tender compassion toward his son when the ungodly perished she delivered the righteous man talking about life who fled from the fire which fell down upon the five cities of whose wickedness even to this day the waste land that smoketh is a testimony and plants bearing fruit that never came come to rightness. And a standing pillar of salt is a monument of an unbelieving soul. Mm. So it tells you right there that that, that lost wife is still there. You know? As a memorial. Huh? And As a can, witness. Huh? And we can still go there today and still see that like this is an example of what's going what's going to happen to you if you want if you want to look back, you know, at society, man. We're supposed to be looking forward and moving forward. Yeah. Right, this Peter that I just read is, uh, that's the New Testament. Yeah. Keep going. So, so kind of verse 7, it says, <laughs> This is then delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy com conversation of the wicked. Alright, so this is the New Testament, letting you know that the Lord is still going to repay those who live wickedly, man. You know, ain't nothing changed, man. It, it's, you know, it's just uh, the, these false... Christian churches, man, they try to uh, deceive the masses, to try to get them to, to believe, uh, of, you know, that you can live a life without any, uh, what's it called, uh, you know, responsibility. Consequences. That's what YOLO is. Yeah. That's what it is. Yep. Yeah. 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 George Santa said it best. It's not a lie if you believe it. Yeah. They really believe that they're going to lie their way out of judgment. <laughs> that these things aren't going to come to pass. That the Lord didn't say eye for eye. That he didn't say that it was going to be a righteous thing to recompense them that trouble you. That judgment was only for our chastisement, but he was going to skip them. Man, that made the Lord a, 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 a false balance, man. Right. The Lord is not a false. He's a righteous balance. Right. Hey, just like this kingdom of hell is real, and the kingdom